Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Starry here. And like I said in the previous video, I thought I was going to work on Zhongli right away. But then I actually went onto the forums for Genshin and I saw this, so I just wanted to talk about it. And this one is Secrets from the Depths of Winter. This is pretty much just a discussion on Child. It even shows most of his skills. So I'll just read this for you guys. One can trust him, but one ought not get too attached. He has unusual tastes when it comes to combat. The encounter he craves the most being those that bring him closest to his own demise. The cautious consul of fellow harbinger, Pulisanella. He cooks, he cleans, he's the bestest big brother ever. The enthusiastic endorsement of younger sister, Tonya. Oh, so it looks like he's an- Alright. Alright, we can just disregard everything over here, because this is pretty much, uh... That's for Kashin, I'm pretty sure. She's the... The Yuhang of Liyue. Yeah, that, I'm pretty sure that has to be for Kashin. Woman friendly one minute, ruthless killer the next. His shifting and unpredictable personality can leave those around him at a loss for words to describe him, but, is, but in rare private moments, he dispenses with titles, casts off his armor, and the layers of intrigue that come with it and show his authentic self. His name is Tartalia, and he is devoted to the thrill and the physical feel of battle. Don't be under any illusion as to what he might be thinking or what his intentions are. Just remember this, behind that innocent childlike exterior lies a finely honed instrument of war. Like a velvet sheaf that houses an ostensibly ornamented blade, his unpredictability puts people on edge. Okay, so we can see his regular combos and him switching into his Hydro Stance, which enables him to enable his melee capabilities. Melee capabilities? We also see that his... Is that his Elemental Burst? Oh, okay, that's probably the Hydro Slash that we mentioned earlier. That looks pretty awesome in my opinion. And it does look like it has a decent range, or a radius of attack I should say. That'll be really good in the Abyss. And then we also have his elemental burst for his bow. Okay. Oh, that's amazing. Imagine if Amber's elemental burst had that kind of range. It wouldn't. Uh, I mean, Amber. Uh, <laughs> I don't. They, I don't really know what could make her better, to be honest. But honestly, both of his elemental bursts just look completely insane. Is. Mm, I don't know which one I like more because they both look so cool, but I feel like the... Mm. Damn, I wish I could figure this out. Honestly, I do think the the slash looks better in my opinion, but the, uh, the bow one, it just looks really cool as well, so... I'll just leave it at that. Yeah, even the people in the comments are saying that this is kind of like a typo, so... Oh, we got a meme. How much primals you got? 531. Mm -mm -mm. Not enough. Alright, well, let's just check out or learn more about Tatalia over here real quick. JP or I'll put it in English. Even though I'll probably play on JP just because that's how I have my game set up. So let's just listen to it. Uh, I'm sure the Harbingers must know of my dealings with you by now. Oh, I'd love to see the look on their faces. <laughs> okay. Now let's hear just one line from JP, I guess. Oh, okay. I feel like his voice actor in JP is recognizable, like I just can't remember where he's from. I feel like he's a character in Haikyuu just because it, it kind of sounds similar, but I, I can't put my finger on it. If I think about it while I'm editing, I'll, I'll just put like a photo of the person I'm thinking of in the video. Well, that wraps everything up, okay guys? I hope you guys enjoyed seeing those awesome moves. I'm gonna just mute this thing again. Hope you guys enjoyed seeing all of that. As always, have a great day. This is Staria signing out. Later, everybody. Goodbye.